Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today I am with Daniel and Rocio. They are brokers of Mia Investment. Today we're going to be talking about an impressive development that is located on 64th Street here in the Colosio neighborhood. But first of all, welcome. Thank you, Humberto. Wow. Thank you. Welcome to the Riviera Maya and the Caribbean Mexican. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's get into the, the, the subject matter of this video. Uh, first of all, Mia Investments is nowhere new in this game of developing in the Riviera Maya. You have a trajectory of about maybe 10 years or so. So would you, would you uh, let us know a little bit more about that? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, Mia Investments will be on the market in the Caribbean and not just the Caribbean, all, all around Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, building for the municipalities, uh, for mm -hmm. governments. Also, in the in the area, we have a few resorts to that we we built in the past years, and now we are starting with the well. We're starting about uh, f about five years with with condos, mm -hmm. with nice penthouses in the located in the more uh, premium areas in Playa del Carmen. Mm -hmm. So so far, we're going from there, isn't it, Rocio? Yes. yes. This the development has uh, 14, 14 years. Mm -hmm. Working and now we are very focused for all the tourists. We have tourists mm -hmm. all the year. That's amazing because we have a uh, movement for money for for instance, and you you could be have a good rent as vacational. Yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. No, actually, the first time I've heard of of uh, uh, of your company, I think it was about maybe eight years ago or so with the development that you you, you have I'm probably sold out by now in Tulum. And so, yeah, here the thing is, this is a, a developer that has a lot of experience. And as you were saying, um, at first with some hotels or some other kind of, of, of developments or with, uh, with working with the government. And right now taking the market with actually just in this area, I think you have two developments in, in a matter of a, 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 a couple of blocks yeah. distance. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. But first, there's something that for me is super, super important and super interesting and has to do with the location. Because as I mentioned at the beginning, we are on 64th Street in the Colosio neighborhood between 5th and 10th, super premium location. But yeah, and that was something that we we're talking about a moment ago, that the Colosio right now, it's a booming location. It's a booming area. A couple of years ago, it was not that nice, <laughs> as I can say. But right now, you see that there are developments everywhere. This is growing fantastically. So I would ask, like, uh, why Mia Developments chose uh, to build not one but two developments in this in this area? Well, you want to start? You want to? I would like to say the most beautiful we have very close here. You can find the beach in four blocks, in very close to the beach, and you can find a jungle protect and some mangla. It's mm -hmm. protected. You can see anything building all. Uh, animals, natural, uh, crocodiles, and this beach in special is 72 beach, and you can be bring or do do dogs. You is mm, pet friendly, pet friendly, right? yeah. And that's amazing because a lot they want to come to visit I me. Mean, they can bring the dogs and mm. let's go. So uh, going going from that, Umberto. Yeah, exactly. So our developer uh, with Mia Investment, we decided to uh, incurse in this uh, amazing location because yes, in nowadays, where else can we grow in terms of, uh, of as a city, right, Lady Carmen? We're a pretty new city, as you mm -hmm. as you know, and our friends, well, they're in house or from your devices, we'll, we can explore more about the city Playa del Carmen, located in Quintana Roo State, in, in Mexico, of course. So it's pretty new city. Uh, the downtown is a small area, which mm -hmm. don't give us a lot of chance to to grow from north, east, back and forth. Why? Because the structure of the geographic, basically, mm -hmm. we, we are close from one side and uh, from there, We'll start growing, right? To the uh, basically will be northeast, mm -hmm. uh, growing, and there is where we are right now. Uh, basically, because in the behind us we have the highway, 
uh, about, and about four blocks. Four blocks, well, let's say we have the highway that connects Cancun, the airport, and we are in the middle, and then we keep going to Tulum, right? Mm -hmm. So, in, in that specific location, that gives us uh, basically the, the best option to that we chose was was this location, this this area around uh, Colosio neighborhood. That yes, it becomes premium now. Uh, a few years ago, there was no a lot of uh, or better like there was other options to grow. But now the, the that's what is booming because this location gives you the chance to be so close to the beach that we, that Rocio just mentioned. We're about uh, four blocks to the beach, walking distance in about five to eight minutes in from this from these units that we we have right here that I'm gonna I would love to show you in a few <laughs> minutes. What you in? We have all the construction done. We're pretty much working on finishes. Uh, it'll be finished in about a few more months, so almost done. Just the construction right now is, is finished. So from here to the sand, to put your, to your foot on the sand and the Korean sand, it's about eight minutes. Walking yeah. um, for blocks and then you go through the jungle that is a protected reserve. It's a beautiful jungle with deers, with uh, a lot of iguanas, crocodiles, parrots. So <clears throat> it's a protected area that it will never be built, so protected by the country, mm -hmm. and then you are in the, in the ocean. So it's like, what else would you would you wish for uh, in this area, right? No, yeah, absolutely. And, and just uh, um, adding to what we, you were saying, if you see the geography of Playa del Carmen, and it's pretty obvious, or it has always been pretty obvious that the development was going on this direction. Because if you go further south on the, say, the Playa Car area, mm -hmm. if you go further south in the direction of Tulum, actually there are parks and there are no, not, there's no spaces for to, to, to build anything else. And if you go downtown, the thing is that there are some spaces, yeah, for sure, but you start getting far and far and far away from the beach. So at this point in, in, in Playa del Carmen, and specifically in the Colosio neighborhood, is the only zone right now in Playa del Carmen where you can build buildings and the developments just like this that are literally uh, like 30 steps away from, from Fifth Avenue. And something else that, that you were saying as well is all over there, and we can take a little, uh, some shots from the outside, there's a federal reserve, which adds a lot of value here because when we are at the, the rooftop and we will, uh, you're gonna see there's all of the greenery, the, that green tapestry, and with the certainty that they're not gonna build anything in that location. So that view that you have right now, that's going to be the view that you will always have. And that's kind of an added value that you would not have in the in downtown. That's very important. And talking about the beaches actually, right here, I would say that we're, more, more or less in between of the two main axes, because one would be on, on CTM Avenue in that direction, which is again, maybe four or five blocks, or the uh, the axis at 72nd, which is the Colosio Avenue, that is again, like four or five blocks in this direction. And just uh, to mention that actually 72nd, the, the beach at 72nd is a, a blue flag uh, beach, yes. which means we're gonna talk about that in more detail in, at some point, but uh, yeah, they have services, they have lifeguards, they have- uh, It's friendly. What, friendly, they have a medical service, there are a lot of things. So that is very, very important when you're considering the location. And also, uh, Umberto, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, talking about all those uh, services, also, and, and I think my favorite, my personal favorite, because I've been living in this area for uh, almost like a decade in this <laughs> area, um, you have not restaurants, uh, noisy bars, nightclubs, mm -hmm. all the also, touristic services that brings a lot of business to this area, which is amazing. However, mm -hmm. those uh, restaurants, beach clubs, mm -hmm. nightclubs are located far Further away from down. here, basically, more uh, in another area of downtown. Mm -hmm. So in this area, uh, basically, once we get to the jungle, you just have jungle. Yeah. You just have jungle, no, no, nothing else other than beautiful uh, sun, the ocean, and yes, the services like paddleboard, like uh, well, water sports, basically, mm -hmm. the kayaks in these beautiful uh, activities that you can perform, you can try at the once you are at the at the beach, right? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I would like to add this uh, amazing uh, point 
is Playa del Carmen is in exact we have the only beaches public. You can go to the Cancun, it's so far, it's very complicated to go to to entry to the beach and you can it's the same thing for Tulum. That's an amazing point for Playa del Carmen. All, almost all the beaches is open for everybody. The access. The access, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, absolutely. As we were saying, you can just walk to any of the of the main accesses and you just go there, you you bring your towel, your pareo and you're done. Twenty four seven. Right. That's the amazing thing. Like something that I mean many people like until you live here you experience that, right? Mm -hmm. Um we Umberto that we've been living in other countries, traveling around the world. The fact that you can literally just have a nap after a long day, wake up at midnight, mm -hmm. one in the morning, walk down mm -hmm. and go to the beach. So it's like, mm -hmm. and that feeling is something that I I, I really think mm -hmm. that everyone should experience at least once in a lifetime. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you were saying something that is very interesting and it, it is a how the Colosio neighborhood in certain ways being repurposed Uh, as opposed as downtown, because downtown at the end, it was built around, I'm going to say more of a party destination, a more uh, short term vacation. You come, you, you eat, you party and you will find all of the, the, the noise and all of the, you know, Fifth Avenue yeah. things going on. And right here, it's definitely more quiet. It's more, I would say with a more residential vibe, it's getting little by little, yeah. but yeah, here you're going to find a lot of, of, of quietness and, and peace. And again, you're very, very, very close to the beach and Fifth Avenue. So as you were saying, if you just want to take a walk, if you want to just chill at the beach, you're literally steps away from that. And in any case, if you do want to go party, if you do want to go downtown, you can pretty much just grab a bike or just walk down here to, to Fifth Avenue in, in a matter of yeah. Yeah, 10 minutes. And it's a nice walk. Yeah. And it's a nice walk because yeah, you're walking, you start getting a little bit more businesses, more restaurants, mm -hmm. you start hearing the music, and if in about five, ten mm -hmm. minutes, you are literally like in the in that area, which is the restaurant, the bars, and the party area, right? The event. Absolutely. Is there something that, okay, this is pretty much my experience, because when I moved to, Mon uh, to Montreal, I started coming maybe once every month or every two months here. And so the thing is, when you live here, you don't really realize all of the new businesses and new things that are that are popping here and there because I don't know, it's just easy, easy to miss. But for me that I'm, I'm coming here every month, every two months, every time I come, I see something new, either a new restaurant, either a new bar, either a new business, you know, for tourist uh, attractions and whatnot. So for me, it's very evident that the growth that this the Colosio neighborhood is, is, is undergoing. And let me tell you, my friends, it's, it's fantastic. So when you are focusing on value growth, the Colosio neighborhood is definitely, definitely, definitely an area that you need to, to check out. <laughs> definitely, for sure. It's something that trust as well. <laughs> in, in that regard, so let's talk a little bit about the development itself. So just to, to, to uh, receive a little bit, we are on 64th Street between 5th and 10th. So literally steps away from 5th Avenue, just steps away from the Federal Reserve and the greenery and the access to the beaches. But as for here, we have here uh, studios and one bedroom, right? We have studios, we have one bedroom, and an amazing penthouse. Okay. So it's still available. And well, so far, uh, I don't know in terms of the other uh, details that you would mm -hmm. like to, to know. Mm -hmm. So I think, for instance, we would like to know about the amenities, but because here, even though it's a small Uh, development in terms of it's a boutique uh, development with not a lot of units, which also means not a lot of problems at the HOA and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's, it's a small development. You're gonna be able to know your your neighbors, but still, it's packed with amenities. Yeah, of course. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, we have an amazing uh, parking underground because a couple clients or a couple people we are looking for protect mm -hmm. the, the cars, mm -hmm. and we will find the amenities to the laundry, and we we have the reception and security. That's amazing because it's no boutique; it's a more for res residential, residential, mm -hmm. residential, yeah. and it's for families too. We have mm -hmm. 
This, the Mia 64th Street, Mia 61st Street, uh, is very focused with the places. It's huge. It's not mm -hmm. studio small. It's amazing, amazing uh, sets for mm -hmm. everybody. For everybody who wants to come. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of the amenities that you can experience here, of course, as Rocio just mentioned, we have a laundry laundry room mm -hmm. uh, for the for the whole condominium. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be included as well. Uh, we have the reception. The reception involves a uh, concierge 24-7, security as well, and system of, of cameras as well. Surveillance. To, 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 to take care of the, of the whole building, okay. right? Also, we have, uh, right beside the reception, we have a cafeteria that will be providing services uh, for the for the for, for the, the guests. people uh, for the guests for the people living uh, or coming on vacations they want to just go down mm -hmm. and, and have some uh, breakfast some lunch or, or or just a coffee right and also we have an elevator of course going up all the way to the to the rooftop where we have an inf a beautiful infinity pool with a gorgeous view of the of the Federal Reserve in the ocean. We have some sun beds as well. We have the grill and on the rooftop as well we have a gym to, okay. to work out gym that we just decide to we was thinking to make an open door gym. However we decide in order for the for the trainer to be more comfortable for the for the people exercising, we'll have uh, AC mm -hmm. and it'll be closed but by window. Okay. So it'll still have a natural light, the view of the ocean as well, while you are training on in a, with AC. Oh, which, that's fantastic. At least if you wanna take sun, just walk out and you have a lot of beautiful sun. But yes, that's those are some of the of the amenities that, uh, that and the pool is such a view, all complete is such a view. That is the most important because we are here for the ocean. We that's amazing, amazing because the, yeah, the, the pool is kind of one of the how say the 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 very one of the main the, features. The, the, one of the, the yeah, the jewel of the crown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's infinite, beautiful infinity pool facing the ocean. So. <laughs> No, yeah, that, that's one of the features that this location is, is going to be able to provide. Here you're going to have uh, ocean view from the top level units and the rooftop, because I, I want to say two things. First, uh, here uh, at Mia 64, the amenities have been very well considered because every now and then you can put some some extravagant amenities that end up not being used, but they have an impact in your HOA and in, in the amount that you pay for HOA. Oh. Here you can see there's a lot of practicality and a lot of thought put into these amenities. The laundry room is an absolute necessity if you're going to be here for, for a long time. Super practical. Absolutely, the elevator makes your, your, your life years easier. But yeah, I'm going to say that the best feature, if I may say so, is the rooftop because literally yeah. you're going to have a view all the way from here to Cozumel, an obstructed view that is going to be absolutely breathtaking. And as for the units that you were mentioning, there's this also another thing that, that you can read in the brochure and anywhere is that they have considered um, the lighting a lot. So they are big spaces with a very nice uh, lighting coming in, illumination and ventilation. And actually right now, well, we're going to be going to the construction itself where we can take a look around. And so I would suggest that let's do that. Okay, let's yeah. go, Merte. We keep going on the on our road. We'll keep going with some more beautiful and, and amazing details of our our, our units. All right, let's do so. Let's go. Okay, so right now we just stepped out of the office. So we're in front of the development and we're going to take a little chance just to show you around a little bit because we were mentioning a lot about the location. So over there, what you can see, that is, what is? Okay, here we have the Federal Reserve that is protected by the basically by the government that will never have built anything over there and on the other well here we have the construction as i mentioned before and what is something that i would love to mention also so from from one side we have the fifth ad and the federal reserve right and from our in our other side we have a school what what does that mean that that means that we'll have a high security it's very it's a clean and security area right so very safe to be around no matter at what time you want to walk out and and also umberto so you can feel the heat right now that we are out in the in the sun and i don't know if you are ready to walk in in our in our building 
All right, so just uh, the, the, the little briefing. Fifth Avenue, just right there. I don't know if you can get to see there are some girls passing by and the Federal Reserve over there. This is Fifth Avenue. Over here, this is 10th Avenue. And so we're in the heart of the Colosio and this is the development. So let's get in. Let's go. Okay. Well, so look at us. We're properly equipped to take the little tour through the construction site. We're right now we're in the parking lot, which will be eventually the parking lot. And so while well, the entrance is over there and questions, how many parking spaces are going to be here? So, Rocio? We have six spaces for, uh, for cars and you will find uh, this is the entry. And this is a space only for a local commercial. This is very mm -hmm. blocked, and you will find in the in the end a laundry room. And we have a storage mm -hmm. uh, for studios. A studios exclusive. Mm -hmm. Studio. We have a storage here in this level. Okay, so the studios will have a, a storage space down here, exactly. which actually I think I think is fantastic because yeah. every time you want to just leave stuff, especially if you are the owner and you are going to be coming here every now and then, it's not practical to bring all of your stuff back and forth, back and forth. So here you can leave all of your your beach stuff towels and your floating devices or your jet ski or whatever you want you can just leave it here that's super practical now the uh the parking spaces are not assigned this uh... are not assigned parking spaces that drop the price as well for us in order to to have a better yeah positioning in terms of the price for the clientele and so yes are not assigned but are free to use it you know that big percentage of the of the owner just it for rental vacation. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, that means that they won't be living here all year long. We won't have basically cars here all year long. Mm -hmm. Plus the location give us the chance to basically don't don't have a car, don't use a car, right? Mm -hmm. However, there are some spaces for, for parking in case that uh, one of the owners decide to bring their car and leave it here, mm -hmm. no problem. No, yeah, that, that's something that, that I've seen in other developments. They make yeah. massive, massive parking spaces. And at the end, they're very underused because, as you were saying, no one's going to bring in their car from England. And so, yeah, in the location allows for not really needing a car that much. Yeah, the, the car is a bike. And Absolutely. The, the transportation that it most, uh, mostly uses, yeah, a bicycle, but walking distance from everywhere. And also, as you, as you know, Humberto, the rental to rent a car here in mm -hmm. case that you want to use it just for for one week or or for a weekend it's very very cheap and very convenient mm -hmm. so there are rentals that just bring the car here let it do you use it for one two days and then they come pick it up and and it's a very very cheap and and good service that you can find as well in this area in Playa del Carmen. Okay, and just in that direction, the elevator comes all the way down here, right? We have right. here the, the stairs and the elevator that comes all the way uh, down to the to the parking lot and goes up all the way to the rooftop. So literally, if you wanna just park in and go to the rooftop, you can do it just here without the elevator. From here. All right, perfect. So let's, uh, let's go visit some of the units, all right? Perfect, yeah, yeah. Right. let's go. Okay, well, so now after a rather interesting climb, we're at the fifth floor of the development, MIA 64. And the first thing I would like to bring your attention to is the view because this is majestic. Let me just flip the camera a little bit. Obviously, this pipe is not going to be there at the end, but look at that. And that's something that we were mentioning. Take a look at the Federal Reserve, all of that greenery that is going to be there forever. And obviously, you can see the, the sea just right there. This is a view. This is a view from where right now in a one bedroom condo, right? Exactly, yes. we're in the living room basically and, and we're located right where could be our TV TV area or TV wall. And the access from the outside, we will have living room right in this area and also a balcony, correct? Where you can put a few chairs, small table, and have the view of the of the ocean. This is remember. This is a um, window completely, mm -hmm. and the, you will find the entry here. For okay, so this is the table. entrance to the to the terrace. Right. Exactly. And so just picture this, my friends. This is going to be your terrace, and this is going to be the view without the pipe, obviously. But <laughs> that is going to be the view, which uh, actually allows to to take a little look at the at the zone. Because I think I would like to bring your attention to the fact that there's a lot of construction going on around here. And so let's go and take a look let's at go. the studio. Let's go. So we're passing by. This is uh, like the main hall. Here we're still at the, at the one bedroom because here just uh, this would be the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. 
This will be the bedroom. There's a little, a little window here where actually, as you can see, you can you do get an ocean view from this uh, from this window. Right. And coming along, this would be the entrance, Bad. right, where Rocio is, and the bathroom. Just look at that! Look at the view from the bathroom. This is really going to inspire you to take a shower more often. Probably you will also, take more time. something that I would like to to point is, look, I'm I'm six three, six foot three. And the the how tall are the the units, right? All right, that's so gonna be like it, it's almost very four meters. Important. It's not very common. Usually, I'm, I'm a I'm a tall guy, you know, but, uh, even in Mexico or more specifically in Mexico, and normally the ceilings are like this high, right? And here we have very high ceilings. So just for you to have a, a, a an perspective. Idea, in terms of the of the space that gives you a very good air running right now there's no ac there's no the fan and you have some some air running of course that that you can feel also oh yeah absolutely i mean the the the, the, the airflow that you can feel here it's, it's fantastic honestly it's, it's like having a fan nothing short from that so, so, so like yeah. we say that no matter the the space that you have in terms of square Footage. square meters square, square foot but it's high ceiling that we will have cover by nice uh, lighting and very nice finishing, premium finishing from our developer. All right, perfect. So let's go to the studio. Let's go. So right now we are at the studio unit. And first thing that I would like to point out is look at the space of this place. It's very, very, very large. It's very you can see studio. here's a big guy. And just look at, look yeah, at all like that. Yeah, we say, right? So gives you a feeling that you are in a very spacious area. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, area. this is, yeah, this is a spacious uh, studio, very convenient. But definitely here, I'm gonna say the start of the show is the view. This is a terrace, it's very similar as the one bedroom, but actually this one is a little bit closer to the sea. So look at that. This is the view that you will have from this studio. And we're on the, on the fifth uh, story. And this is the view from the balcony. So again, this is the terrace. So you can come out from here and you will be able to put some tables there or a couple of chairs and basically enjoy of this view and just to point out look how close we are from the sea really it's just on that direction fifth avenue that we already told about it and then over there the beach exactly so i'm in love with the view i come here every day and, and that's every day just just in love with this beautiful jungle in the, the Caribbean Ocean. Something that oh, Absolutely. That's what we're, here, we're here for, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and if you think that this view is fantastic, wait a second, my friends, because we're going to the rooftop and that is really gonna blow your mind. Well, so right now we're in the star of the show. This is the rooftop. And so I'm just gonna turn the camera to show you something. This is the view from the rooftop. This is absolutely fantastic. Take a look at that. And over here, what you see right there, that is the infinity pool. And so what other remarks about the rooftop? So, well, here is a, in the area that we're right now, we'll have some, uh, some, beds, some beds with umbrellas, of course, to be right attached the infinity pool. We keep going through the rooftop. We have a pergola with more sun beds and a lounge right attached to the grill area. So we have the grill right there on the corner and on the right side, we have the gym. That is, it's a very big space for, in, it'll be fully equipment with the, with the, in our, in our gym, in a closed area with AC, like I mentioned before, and uh, covered by glass. So even the, whenever you are training, you will have a debut of the, of the jungle and the ocean as well. That is fantastic. So my friends, this has been Mia 64, just a boutique development in an amazing location in the heart of the Colosio, a booming neighborhood. And here you will have the elevator, the amazing infinity pool, the view that come on, this is fantastic. And some beds over there and the gym, which is very important. So thank you so much. My this pleasure. Been an amazing Humberto. trip. And so, well, my friends, to the nice next one. Nice to see you and see you soon, okay? See you next one. Absolutely. Bye.